Welcome to Daily Series, COVID-19 Special. A complete timeline of the coronavirus pandemic. 1. November 17, 2019 A person displayed the first detectable case of COVID-19 in China. One year ago, the novel virus COVID-19 was first recorded as having infected a human, marking the start of a global pandemic that has so far killed 1.33 million people and infected 55.1 million. The first case of coronavirus was on 17 November 2019, weeks before authorities announced a new disease. This first infected person, coined Patient Zero, is thought to have been a 55-year-old Hubei resident, but this is yet to be confirmed. 2. December 31, 2019 Chinese health officials informed the WHO about a cluster of 41 patients with a mysterious pneumonia. Most are connected to Wan and Seafood Wholesale Market. 3. January 1, 2020 Wan and Seafood Wholesale Market closes. According to the Chinese state-sponsored Xinhua News, the Wan and Seafood Market was closed on 1 January 2020 for remediation. It was stated that the Wan and Seafood Market had been closed on 1 January 2020 for cleaning and disinfection. However, the virus could only stay on surfaces for so long so this was useless and has requested further information from the Chinese authorities to assess the risk. 4. January 7, 2020 Chinese authorities identify the virus that caused the pneumonia-like illness as a new type of coronavirus, called novel coronavirus or NCOV. Scientists in China announced the discovery of a new coronavirus. Since the outburst of social media discussion of the mysterious pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan, China, Chinese authorities censored the hashtag hashtag WuhanSARS and were now investigating anyone who was allegedly spreading misleading information about the outbreak on social media. 5. January 11, 2020 China records its first death linked to the novel coronavirus. Chinese researchers also published the virus genetic sequence. The first two patients in Shenzhen City transferred into a negative pressure room in Third People's Hospital of Shenzhen City due to matching lab test results, symptoms, and epidemiology and are being listed as suspected cases. The cases were not confirmed at the time, because requirement from the Chinese government at the time was that first case in each city needs to be submitted to provincial CDC, verified by national CDC and then evaluated and confirmed by a specific diagnostic team in National CDC. January 13, 2020 Thailand reports the first coronavirus infection outside of China. The US CDC announced that the genome had been posted on the NIH genetic sequence. Thailand witnessed the first confirmed case of 2019 NCOV, the first outside China. The affected 61-year-old Chinese woman, who is a resident of Wuhan, had not visited the Wan and Seafood Wholesale Market, but was noted to have been to other markets. She had arrived in Bangkok on 8 January. In response, the WHO urged China to continue searching for the source of the new virus. 6. January 20, 2020 The first US case is reported, a 35-year-old man in Snohomish County, Washington. The United States and South Korea each reported their first confirmed case of the coronavirus to the World Health Organization. US CDC developed its own testing kit after China shared the genetic sequence on 10 January and deployed it to detect the first coronavirus case. The testing kit used three small genetic sequences instead of two used by Germany. The test kits were found to be defective because the third sequence, or probe, gave inconclusive results. U.S. National Institutes of Health has begun development of a vaccine for the coronavirus. 7. January 23, 2020 Chinese authorities place the city of Wuhan under quarantine, and the rest of the Hubei province days later. Singapore reported its first laboratory confirmed case, a 66-year-old man from China. Vietnam confirmed its first two laboratory confirmed cases, a 65 or 66 year old father and 27 or 28 year old son from China. A scientific preprint from the Wuhan Institute of Virology is posted on BeArchive, later published in Nature announcing that a bat virus with 96% similarity had been sequenced in a Yunnan cave in 2013, whose sequence is posted the next day on public databases. 
It is confirmed by comparing infectivity of cells expressing or not expressing ACE2 that the novel coronavirus uses this same entry receptor as SARS-CoV. January 30, 2020 WHO declares a global public health emergency. WHO declared the virus was a public health emergency of international concern and advised, all countries should be prepared for containment, including active surveillance, early detection, isolation and case management, contact tracing and prevention of onward spread of 2019 NCOV infection, and to share full data with WHO. The United States confirmed its sixth case, the spouse of another patient in Chicago. This is the first confirmed case of human-to-human -human transmission within the United States. 8. January 31, 2020 President Trump bans foreign nationals from entering the US if they had been in China within the prior two weeks the United Kingdom and Russia confirmed their first coronavirus infections. The first Swedish and Spanish cases were confirmed. The seventh confirmed case in the US is in Santa Clara County, California. A fourth case of coronavirus in Canada has been confirmed in London, Ontario. Thailand confirmed five more cases with the first human-to-human -human virus transmission inside the country of a local taxi driver, bringing the total to 19. Singapore confirmed three more cases including the first Singaporean patient, bringing the total to 16. 304, South Korea confirmed five more cases. Chinese health experts warn the public that coronavirus patients can become reinfected. 9. February 2, 2020 The first coronavirus death outside China is recorded in the Philippines. Saw the first confirmed death from COVID-19 outside mainland China announced. The case was that of a 44-year-old male who was the companion of the first confirmed case in the country. Both are Chinese nationals from Wuhan who had arrived in the country via Hong Kong on 21 January. He had been in stable condition prior to his death on 1 February. South Korea reported three more cases, bringing their total to 15. United Arab Emirates reported its fifth case. The United States of America confirmed three more cases, all in California, bringing the total to 11. Two Germans aboard the evacuation flight from Wuhan tested positive for the virus, bringing the number of cases there up to 12. 10. February 6, 2020 A person in California dies from the coronavirus, the first known American death. A patient in San Jose, California became the first COVID-19 death in the United States discovered by April 2020. She died at home without any known recent foreign travel, after being unusually sick from flu in late January, then recovering, working from home, and suddenly dying on February 6. A February 7 autopsy was completed in April, after virus tests on tissue samples, and attributed the death to transmural myocardial ischemia, infarction, with a minor component of myocarditis due to COVID-19 infection. Her case indicates that community transmission was happening undetected in the U.S. 10. February 7, 2020 Chinese doctor and coronavirus whistleblower Li Wenliang dies. Li Wenliang was a Chinese ophthalmologist at Wuhan Central Hospital, who was considered as the first person to warn the public of the 2019-20 Wuhan coronavirus outbreak. On 3 January 2020, Wuhan police summoned him and warned him for he was making false comment on the internet, he died of the novel coronavirus infection at an intensive care unit room. 11. February 11, 2020 WHO announces that the disease caused by the novel coronavirus will be called COVID-19. Official names have been announced for the virus responsible for COVID-19 previously known as 2019 novel coronavirus and the disease it causes. Viruses are named based on their genetic structure to facilitate the development of diagnostic tests, vaccines and medicines. Virologists and the wider scientific community do this work, so viruses are named by the International Committee on Taxonomy. 12. February 21, 2020 COVID-19 cases start to spike in Italy. Italy coronavirus over 10,000 new COVID-19 cases reported France coronavirus update, daily infections top 60,000, an all-time high Italy's COVID-19 mortality rate has continued to spike while the rate of new cases have inched lower, health experts said. 
but warned against relaxing the incumbent restrictions. 13. March 8, 2020 WHO declares the outbreak a pandemic. After infecting over 121,000 and causing more than 4,300 deaths, the World Health Organization declares the outbreak a pandemic. The WHO has, in the past, defined a pandemic as the worldwide spread of a new disease. The coronavirus, which causes the illness COVID-19, spread to over 110 countries within three months. The WHO announced the coronavirus outbreak was a public health emergency of international concern, around the time almost 8,000 cases had been confirmed across 18 countries and the death toll was approaching 200. 13. March 11, 2020 President Trump bans all travel from 26 European countries. The US President Donald Trump has temporarily banned from entering to the US, the nationals of 26 European countries, members of the European Schengen area, after the World Health Organization officially called the COVID-19 a pandemic. 14. March 11, 2020 Trump declares a national emergency in the US. The president declared an emergency for COVID-19 under Section 501 b of the Stafford Act, pledging $50 billion in unspecified aid in the ongoing COVID-19 response efforts. Section 501 b of the Stafford Act allows the federal government to declare an emergency without a governor's request and makes available only certain subsets of FEMA recovery funds. This generally enables FEMA to operate as a vehicle to deliver virus response funds to state and local governments. Declarations under the Stafford. 15. March 13, 2020 China reports no new locally spread infections for the first time since the pandemic began, no new local infections of the coronavirus since the pandemic began in the country three months ago. The COVID-19 pandemic started in Wuhan, in China's Hubei province, in December and has since infected more than 222,640 people around the world. More than 9,115 people have died. In China, Officials have confirmed 81,154 cases of the coronavirus and 3,249 deaths. 16. March 19, 2020 equals Italy sees the peak of its first wave, with 6,557 new cases of COVID-19 in a day. The first Western country hit by the virus, Italy has seen 65,857 COVID-19 fatalities since its outbreak emerged, the highest toll in Europe and the fifth highest. 17. March 21, 2020 New York City confirms 21,000 cases, making it the epicenter of the outbreak in the US. That makes New York the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic within the US hospitals in New York City are battling the harrowing surge of cases. And tragically, New York City morgues are expected to reach capacity by next week. In a disturbing echo of China panic building two Wuhan hospitals in 10 days. 18. March 23, 2020 Total confirmed cases in the US reach 82,404, the highest in the world, surpassing China's 81,782 and Italy's 80,589. Confirmed cases of the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, reached 82,404 today in the United States, giving it the most cases in the world. And yesterday was the most active day so far in the country, with 14,042 new cases reported, and the national death toll reaching 1,069 fatalities. 19. March 26, 2020 Iran records 3,186 new daily cases, the peak of its first wave, People ignore social distancing rules People wearing protective face masks walking along the side of a street by the Tajrish Bazaar in Iran's capital. 20. March 30, 2020 More than one-third of humanity is under some form of lockdown. More than one billion Indians went into lockdown Wednesday, leaving a third of the planet now under orders to stay at home, as the United States vowed to spend $2 trillion to counter the economic harm of the coronavirus. Europe remains at the heart of the epidemic, with first Italy and now Spain's death toll overtaking that of China, while Britain's Prince Charles became the latest prominent figure to test positive for the COVID-19 disease. 
21, March 31, 2020 The world passes 1 million COVID-19 infections. The number of people worldwide who have died with COVID-19 has passed 1 million, researchers say, with many regions still reporting surging numbers of new infections. 22, April 2, 2020 Roughly 95% of all Americans are under lockdown, as 42 states issue stay-at-home orders. As the U.S. grapples with the rapid spread of the novel coronavirus that has the healthcare system at a tipping point, a growing number of states are ordering their residents to stay at home. 23. April 14, 2020 Coronavirus cases start to spike in Brazil. Brazil, which has the second deadliest outbreak in the world behind the United States, reported 1,092 coronavirus deaths and 69,826 new confirmed cases. 24. April 24, 2020 Several countries, such as Spain, Iran, Italy, Denmark, Israel, Germany, New Zealand, and Thailand, begin to ease their lockdown restrictions. 25. May 11, 2020 Coronavirus cases surge in India A record single-day surge in coronavirus cases and the fatalities linked to the highly infectious disease with 96,551 new infections and 1,209 deaths registered in the last 24 hours. 26. May 16, 2020 The number of global COVID-19 cases surpasses 5 million. Global coronavirus cases surpass 5 million. The virus has now spread to more people in under six months than the total number of severe flu cases. More than 100,000 COVID-19 cases. The number of global COVID-19 cases surpass 10 million. 27. June 28, 2020 Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro announces he tested positive for COVID-19. Bolsonaro who had previously called coronavirus fears overblown, was left in a delicate position Thursday by news that his communications chief, Fabio Weingarten, had tested positive for COVID-19. 28 July 7, 2020 The WHO strongly recommends steroids for seriously ill COVID-19 patients. New research released Wednesday indicates that treating critically ill COVID-19 patients with three cheap, Widely available steroid drugs can improve survival, cementing the cheap drugs as a standard of care. 29. September 2, 2020 U.S. deaths from COVID-19 top 200,000. The United States passed the grim milestone of 200,000 deaths from COVID-19 today on the first day of fall, cases are rising nationally, and more controversies and developments continue to roil the U.S. 30. September 22, 2020 Global deaths surpass 1 million. The death toll from the coronavirus pandemic reached 1 million worldwide, as nations continue to struggle to contain a virus that has overloaded healthcare systems, upended economies and remade. 31. September 28, 2020 President Trump announces he tested positive for COVID-19. The country was put on edge overnight as President Trump announced that he and First Lady Melania Trump have tested positive for the coronavirus, a stunning announcement. 32. October 2, 2020 The U.S. enters its third surge of coronavirus cases, the beginning of its deadliest phase yet. The U.S. has entered its third wave of coronavirus infections. Public health experts worry this wave could be the largest and deadliest. 33. October 23, 2020 Global cases top 50 million. The figures are stark and reflect soaring infections around the globe. The US saw its latest million cases in just a 10-day period, and the 24-hour average for new cases over the last seven days has been over 100,000, higher than any other nation. Global cases have now exceeded 50 million 34. November 9, 2020 UK authorizes Pfizer, BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use Britain becomes the first Western nation to get a coronavirus shot, with earliest doses to go to the most vulnerable 35. December 11, 2020 The FDA authorizes Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. The US Food and Drug Administration granted emergency use authorization to Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine, the first vaccine that will be available for public use in the US. 
the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has authorized the first COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use in the United States. Millions of doses of 36. December 18, 2020 The FDA authorizes Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. The Cambridge-based company has nearly 6 million doses that are expected to start shipping out this weekend. Latest stories. Government report warns of potential violence and foreign interference during Georgia Senate runoffs. It's been a year since the virus discovered, we don't know what holds in the future. Let's make a reflection in lives and pray hard and hope for the best. We don't know how long this pandemic will last. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you on my next video.